Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romany. I feel like my chair is too low. What's going on? Hold on. <laughs> no, that's as high as it goes. Have I shrank? Shrank? Shrunk? Never mind. Anyway, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Romany. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, today we are going to be filming my April purchases. I did really well. I hardly purchased anything in April. So this is going to be a really quick video because I'd still made purchases. I just didn't purchase that much <laughs> because I was completely broke from the month before. Yeah. Uh, if you are new here to my channel, then I highly recommend that you subscribe. That would be fabulous. Great. And let's get on into what I purchased throughout the month of April. First thing that I decided to purchase because I needed more was I purchased another mini bundle from Made by Mitchell. I know by the beginning of like last month or the month before I'd never tried Made by Mitchell products at all and now I keep friggin buying them. So anyway I purchased the mini bundle so you got three items and it was £15. Uh, it was only because everyone keeps on at bloody drip freaking drip 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 that's all i freaking hear on tiktok is drip drip so it's the silver blush blush it's a blusher liquid blusher it's not a blush at all it's like a highlighter yes so i got that i got the um all lip no trip this is a lip liner um, and it's called Selling Cookies and it's brown and I got a, another gel glaze cream eyeshadow this one's in the shade Peach Dusk the last one I got was Peachy Keen so obviously the peachy ones don't sell that well yeah so I got those um, Oh, it smells amazing. This. <laughs> I bought some new colouring pencils. Yep. Ready? Okay. So it's a case. And it's full of colouring pencils. There's loads of, like, gump in it. So hold on. There's loads of paperwork. Hold on, though. Because one of the bits of paperwork I'm really excited for. I'm excited for quite a lot of it actually. There is like a little pencil guide. Yes, a pencil guide. This is what I was quite excited for. It's a colour chart. Okay, so you get your pencil and oh, I've got two of them. Oh my gosh. You get your pencil and you colour in so you know which. And I've got two. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I had two. One can be full colour and the other can be like muted, like gently. Anyway, yeah. And then you get a little guide of how to colour. <sighs> yes, I did that. Okay, are you ready for this? Because it's, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, ready? Look, look. Oh, it turned itself. Look at that look oh my god i've literally got every color there is going and i love it and they smell freaking delicious so um yes these are from castle arts and they are the soft touch coloring pencils that you get in the case and um i had a voucher they were always doing sales and stuff so have a look on like facebook and places like that because there's always vouchers that you can get a certain amount off use that and i'm very pleased with my pencils i really am loving it loving my pencils i'm not that i've used them yet ah you've probably already seen this this is look how cute that is 
this is one of the dotted i'll show you so it's got little dots it's what everyone uses for bullet journals and i used to a bullet journal all the time years ago and then i just got not bored of it but it's quite high maintenance i find i find i found it was quite high maintenance and i kind of i saw other people's bullet journals and then i got really jealous and was like i can't i can't like i can't keep up with that it was a lot that's why i bought the coloring pencils as well a little bit because i wanted to do some drawings and stuff on my bullet journal but then i realized i don't want to because i'm not very good at drawing i don't have the time to sit there and decorate a bullet journal and i didn't want to use the bullet journal for daily like daily spreads i wasn't going to do that i've got a diary for that um so i decided i wanted to use my bullet journal for some other things so let me show you what I've done and then so I've got a habit tracker okay which I've put way too much stuff on my habit tracker and I've got bored of it a sleep tracker which I've decided I actually sleep pretty much the same amount each day just I my quality of sleep is different a dream log which was is quite cute in theory but yeah step tracker i love that uh exercise log i don't love that because i'm not really writing much in there uh <laughs> i did a skincare tracker and on the other side of my skincare tracker i'm just writing a little bit about how I'm feeling about that skincare product. So if you saw my last video, you would have seen that throughout the whole month of May, I'd be using these same products on my face to see if they actually work. Give them that good four weeks um, to work their magic or not. And um, another reason why I did it was to make sure that I was actually using up all my products rather than wasting because i don't like wasting um i've done a rate my day and my day in one line um which is quite good uh the rate my day i've just got god awful <laughs> average but nothing great pretty good great and best day ever um i've not had a best day ever yet but i'm already finding different things that i would like to change of that because that's quite high maintenance that amount of stuff and then i've got my normal diary so i i just wanted something fun so i might just change all of that <laughs> for next month anyway one other thing that i thought i'd change about myself this month is start reading oh my god I've, I've reached that age where um gardening is a must and reading is now a must i love i used to love reading but after having millie you know life just consumes and i don't put much time out for myself and that's the problem um and the time i do have for myself i don't make good use of it so that's when i thought you know what i have not read a book in years years i mean unless you include like the bu the buffalo the gruffalo and you know hangry hangry flipping neck unless you include the gruffalo and the hungry caterpillar i've not read a book in absolute years so i thought you know what at night time when i go to bed i am a stickler for i do end up like watching my ipad or something usually watching some true crime youtuber love it love it doesn't give you the best dreams though does it <laughs> so i thought I'm always keeping on at Millie, like, you're not allowed to watch TV while you're in bed. 
you need to read a book and it helps you go to sleep and all of that but you know practice what you preach woman so i decided that every night just for 15 minutes or so i'll probably i'll progress later um I was going to start reading so obviously i haven't read a book in absolute years so i end up buying myself three <laughs> so i've got the richard richard osmond book the thursday murder club so that's the one i'm reading at the moment i'm like quarter of the way through it i'm really enjoying that i then brought the second one as well the man who died twice because they were on like two for seven pound offer and then I brought this one. This is One of Us is Lying um, from Karen M. McManus. Uh, and it says it's a Netflix series. I'm not going to watch it on Netflix. I'm going to read about them. So you, blah, blah, blah. So there's several books in this series. As you can see, there is the One of Us is Lying, which is the first one. And then one, is our, one of Us is Next, Two Can Keep a Secret, The Cousins, and You'll Be the Death of Me. Um, these ones, there are, I think there's four, or there's the fourth ones coming out soon. So yeah, I've been reading. Who is she? Who is she reading? I know. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, that was it. That was my purchases for April not a massive amount of purchases for myself like that like yeah i'm quite pleased with myself that that was all i purchased um if you have any book select selections if you have any book suggestions then obviously leave in the comments below i've Remember, I've not read for absolute years, so I've probably missed out on hundreds, thousands of amazing books. I have got a few books that, you know, other books like Fifty Shades and stuff like that. Never read those. I've got the Twilight books. <laughs> um, and I've also got all the True Blood books I've never read. I think I started reading one about... Um, I read, like, the first couple of chapters, and then I didn't carry on i've got a load of books up in the attic like i used to love stephen king books uh and i'm just not and i've decided that you know i'm gonna make time to have a little read for myself so that's what i'm doing um yeah how proud are you of me for just that that was just my purchase i'm very proud of myself so that's all for today i've I've done really well for May as well, so you'll be glad, you'll be pleased that I don't think May's video is going to be very long either. Um, I don't really have any empties to show you either. So April was a pretty blah, it was a average month. Yeah, anyway, I will see you all for the next one. Bye!